Good morning everyone, it's Philip Cooper here. I'm the president of the Lions Club of Whitford. I have with me my very good friend, Mark Jacko Jackson, and we just wanted to take a minute to talk to the community and to just let you know what's happening with Sari Club in Bali. As you know, uh, 202 people were murdered at the Sari Club site. Uh, there was a countless that were injured, injured yeah. and on top of that we've been fighting for a long time to try and establish a international peace park. Now firstly we wanted to remember the victims. The victims, yeah, the, and, the, and the footballers and uh, because I, I remember I've, I've been to the Sari Club even in the 80s and it's been like a ritual for footballers at the end of their season to go to, go to um, Bali and Kuta and, and um, relax after a long season of sport. But what, what look, at the end of the day, we, we, we really don't want to um, um, push on anybody anything, right? Because what's happened's happened. But um, for the memory and, and the harmony uh, of, of, of both, both countries, because we, we, it's not our country, but we want, if, if there's Indonesians listening to this, um, to be respectful of us just like we are with you when your students and uh, come to here to study. Um, the Australian government is very respectful and very careful that they get looked after and we, when, our, when our kids travel uh, off our shores we would like the same um, for, for us. You know? and, that's, and, that, and I think that's the point. And I think when it comes back to the memory uh, um, of, of, of where it happened at the Sari Club, I, I, I think, you know, it, it, it'd be um, understanding of, of Indonesia if, if they could see their way clear of um, making that a, a, a long-term memory um, park for peace and harmony um, for the future. And that's, a, that's an important point, Mark, because it's mutual respect between both countries. Mm -hmm. And it's also the... Uh, and, and there was many Indonesians that we killed as well mm. and, and affected by those bombings. So yep. it doesn't just go to Australia, it goes to every country that was affected, mm. uh, every uh, person that was both murdered and injured. Mm. And if to President uh, Joko Widodo, um, if you're listening to this, please, we would implore you to get involved and to help secure that site. Um, to our Prime Minister Scott Morrison who came out yesterday and said that he was going to look into this issue. We thank you very much. We also thank you to all the politicians, community leaders that have been involved in this. And from Mark's and my point of view, we just wanted to say thank you. Hence why we just wanted to say this this morning. Yeah, I'm sitting here on behalf of Phil through the Kingsley Football Club. Yep. Um, just may I mention that they lost... They lost seven. Seven. And, and there was others that were injured, injured as well. Yeah, so people that volunteer their time that went away with them through a football season that, that um, yeah, lost their lives and got injured in, in that um, atrocity. So, yeah, all we're, all we're asking is a fair and reasonable hearing. It's not our country. We understand that. Um, but... A peace and harmony park we're looking for the support to establish and on that side and lastly uh, last month you may not be aware I traveled to the United Nations in New York and I actually spoke about the Bali Peace Park I spoke about the pro uh, the um, the what we wanted to do at the time and uh, got a lot of support so I just wanted to say thank you Mark. thank mm. you for doing this we really appreciate your support as always and uh, on behalf of Lions, on behalf of the Kingsley Football Club, on behalf of the Bali Peace Park Association, we just want to say thank you to everyone that's helped. We appreciate your support. There's a lot more to be done. And again, between the countries of Indonesia and Australia, we respect one another, but we really need to get this done. So thank you.